anchor is up. We are in gear. Hard to port. Another day begins. Today's going to be very interesting because this is the first time we'll be going through a lock. Well, it's not the first time I've been through a lock, but on this journey, this is the first time Contiki's going through a lock. It's only a couple of miles away from here. It should be pretty interesting to go through a lock single-handing with uh, <laughs> one motor running. But that's why I've got big fenders. I'd be lying if I said that I didn't have butterflies in my stomach this day. But I really do think it's a good thing to start off with some tough challenges. Mm. It's kind of like boot camp. If you can make it through this, you can make it through anything. Right away another challenge faced me in that we weren't out here alone. There was a bunch of cruisers on the water with us. As we come around the bend, we should be able to see it. We were heading east. That's the direction we needed to go until we turned north. But for the time being, we were making progress. One motor, two motors, didn't matter. However, this part was easy. The Franklin lock, I was hoping, would also prove easy. However... Well, figures. There's a whole line of boats up there. How nice is that? This is, of course, the tricky part where you have to kind of loiter around until uh, it's your turn to go into the lock. And uh, spinning around is not something that Katie's too good at right now. At least there's nobody coming up behind me. Let's see if I can get the dogs. Come on, let's go. Good. We're gonna put them inside. Come on. Inside, inside. Good puppy dogs. Very good. It's one part of the equation that I don't have to worry about now. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. And yeah, I'm just gonna hang back here. One tremendous advantage today was that the wind was coming right from the bow, from the direction we were going. Peacock! When the wind is in your face, it makes steering a lot easier. Doesn't matter if you have one motor or not. Contiki was doing just fine. I'd bump it into gear, put it in neutral. Bump it into gear, put it in neutral. That boat you saw that went by was the first one coming from the lock that everybody was waiting for. We were all starting to get right on top of each other. I worried that I would have to stop and turn around, and there were some little boats behind me. Alright, everybody's moving in. All right. I don't even know if we'll all be able to fit in there. I wonder if we'll have to wait for the next opening. Possibility, I guess. Franklin Lock, and are we good to go to either side? Got room for two more, at least two more here on the starboard side. Copy that. That boat behind me will probably want that one. He's down to one engine. You can change either side, Conti. Copy that. Mike once told me that slow is steady and steady is fast. That's exactly how I came in this lock. One go over on the port side, go about halfway up into the chamber. My hope was that my forward momentum would kind of nestle me right up in there. 
so I threw her in neutral and I walked up forward. I was afraid that Contiki would start to veer out towards the boat traffic that was coming up from astern on the port side. The way it turned out, I couldn't overpower the wind that was in my face, so I had to go down below and bump her forward a little bit. That's when my stern started walking away. The dock tender really helped me out though. If the water in this lock were going down instead of up, tying off would not be an option. It's crushing my boat. Ah, we're good. That's cool. Pretty close. That wall's dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Nice that I'm tied off. Maybe I'm just a simple guy, but the mechanisms that make up these locks always make me marvel at their ingenuity. Fender's doing good. Uh-oh, door's closed. They'll start flooding us. The water inside this chamber only rose up about three feet. Then the massive door in front of us opened up and all the boats up front would be exiting. Thank you for your help. Okay, Cap, go ahead. Alright. There's no boats in my way now and open doors in front of me. My anxiety was slipping away. With help from the lock tender and a favorable wind, Contiki made it through her first lock as if she had done this many, many times before. Bring up the rear, good times. Don't do that either. Either you know. Yeah, it wasn't too terrible. Thank God for that headwind. Not do that. Nice. Now we only have to do that about a hundred more times. <laughs> Good job, puppy dogs. The next destination is where Contiki experiences her first water spout, which you saw already. 
What you haven't seen is the city dock, which turned out to be pretty awesome. Not just because of the location and the amenities and the price, but the people that were there. I'll talk about that in the next video.